Good morning class 7 a very warm welcome to today's session of computer class I am Mrs. Sitara today we are going to see the chapter 3 advanced features of MS Excel you know MS Excel is a part of MS Office package and MS Excel is used to do some calculations and we can do formatting of our data in an excellent manner. Today's session we are going to learn about the advanced features of MS Excel. This chapter deals with the main features of Excel. Formulas, functions and charts. In your maths class, your maths will write a sum on the board and ask you to solve she will ask you, tell me children, how can you solve this problem? What is the formula to be used? Immediately you will be bubbling up with the formula for the solution. Same way, Excel we can use formula to perform some calculation. Next one is function. What is a function? It is a group of statement that perform any particular task or a calculation. It will save our time and effort to write lengthy formulas. The third one is chart. Charts you would have seen when you match, watch a cricket match. In that, they will be showing you run scored per over and fall of wicket as a picture. By having a look at that, you will be able to identify or you will be able to compare the two teams performance or you will be seeing the composition of air in your science class in that also you are seeing a pie chart children formula is a combination of operands and operators now what is an operand it is nothing but a variable what is an operator the different operators are given in the tabular column here. You can find plus for addition, minus for subtraction. For multiplication, we are using asterisk. And for division, we use forward slash. In the picture, you can find a green color window. In that, in column A1, that is you can see numbers given as row numbers and A, B, C, D are given as column labels and we refer to a cell that is intersection of a row and column is called as a cell we refer to the cell as A1 or B2 etc. Now the headings are given there item, unit price, number ordered and total price and you are going to calculate the total price of the pencils I have ordered in the first column that is B2 you find it the amount to be $15.15 dollars $15. and the ordered number is 15. To calculate the total price I should use equal to B2 that is my unit price and the symbol for multiplication is asterisk. Then I will use the next cell ordered, number ordered as C2. So I will type C2 or click on the cell C2 and I have to press enter key. Function. Function is a predefined statement that perform a particular task or a calculation. It will save our time and effort to write lengthy formulas. Excel has a various predefined functions under different categories such as date and time, math and trigonometry, financial, logical, text, etc. Here we are having some mathematical function. They are sum, average, max, min and count. The sum function is used to find the sum of the selected values example equal to sum b2 colon e2 next one is average it finds the average of the numbers given how to use it 
equal to average B2 colon E2. Next is the max. Max will give the largest value. Max of a range. Example, equal to max B2 colon E2. Next is the minimum value. We use min for that. Equal to min B2 colon E2. Next function will count the number of cells that contain data. Equal to count B2 colon E2. Your mark list can be entered in Excel and your miss can find the subject average, the maximum marks, minimum marks and things like that just by the stroke of a few letters. In the Excel sheet, we are going to see how to calculate sum, average, max, min and count. Equal to, you press and type sum. Select the cells B2 to E2. Close the bracket. Press enter. I repeat, press equal to. Type the function name sum. Open bracket. Select the cells which you want to find sum. Close the bracket and press enter. To calculate the total of Kavita, press equal to sum B5 to E5. Press enter. Next one is to calculate the average. Give equal to type the function average. Select cells B2 to E2. Press enter. Same thing can be done for Rajan, Smita, and Kavita. As you can see, when you select, the cell names are displayed in the formula bar on top as well as in your cell. The answer is displayed in the formula bar. Now to find the max, give equal to Max, select the cells B2 to E2, press enter. When you type the formula, the formula can be seen in the formula bar. The answer for the calculation can be seen in the cell after you press the enter key. Next function is to find out the minimum values. The same process you have to continue. Press equal to, type min function and select the range of cells. As you know children, range is a group of cells that are to be calculated together. Next function is count function. To find how many entries are there in the cell, we can use the count function. To see the count function, only for Rajan, we are having one count less. For all others, all the entries are there. For marks are there for English, Hindi, Maths and Science. But for Rajan, Hindi marks are missing. Therefore, we find one count less in Rajan's count than other people's. Pictorial representation of data is called as charts. When you watch a cricket match, you would have seen the score of each team with the run scored and the wicket, fall of wickets. In science class, you would have seen the composition of air in the form of a pie chart. In maths class, you will be drawing the charts by plotting the points in the graph sheet. So, graphs are easy to read and understand. 
in excel we can prepare charts of different types they are area chart column chart line chart bar chart pie chart and donut chart an area chart emphasizes the trend of each value over time it also shows the relationship of parts to a whole column chart column chart uses vertical bars or columns to display values over different categories they show variations in value over time this type of chart you plot in your geog geometry classes line chart is used for depicting the change in a value over a period of time it represent data by line at equal intervals a bar chart is represented by a rectangular box in a tabular or columnar form one can easily compare data from the given chart pie chart is generally round in shape and displays the contribution of each value to a total each data point is represented by a slice of a circular pie chart a donut chart is represented in a circular format like pie chart but contains more than one data series each ring of donut chart represents one data series on screen you have the components of chart you have the source data title legend axis data series value axis and category axis source data the range of cells that make up a chart is called as a source data the chart will be updated automatically once you change the values of these cells a range is a group of cells together title the main heading of the chart is called as a title legend when you draw a, when you do a map work you will draw a key at the bottom of the map showing what each of the markings are for same way in chart key which identifies each color on the chart is called as a legend axis there are vertical and horizontal part of the chart are called as axis vertical axis is often referred to as y axis and horizontal axis is referred to as x axis the data series the actual charted values usually the rows or columns of the source data is called as a data series it usually will be a group of related values value axis this axis represents the values or units of each source data category axis identify each data series known as a category axis inserting a chart first select the data range to create a chart click on chart wizard button or from insert menu choose chart option from the wizard you can choose chart type chart subtype title tab to add the title click axis to label x and y axis click legend to choose legend click on next button and click on finish button you can see a chart inserted on your sheet the arranging of data in any order either ascending or descending is known as sorting we can sort the data in the excel we have entered click on the entire data go to data menu sort option choose the field on which you have to sort choose the order ascending or descending click okay the data filter command of excel is used to filter the data according to user's choice the data which is not required at a particular point of time can be ignored by the user by the use of filter command to do filtering select the entire data on data menu select the filter option select auto filter a drop down button appears on every field click and choose the value and click on okay 
the required data alone will be displayed on the screen. With that, we come to the end of today's computer session. Small assignment for you. Complete book exercises, page numbers 12 and 13, lesson 1, 37 and 38, lesson 2. Please mark in your pencil, with pencil in your book. Later on, I will be giving you the correct answers. Go through the lesson and mark the answers in the book. You have got only 5 tick the correct answer and 5 fill ups in each lesson. Please complete it. I hope you enjoyed today's computer class. Complete your assignment at leisure and take a snap of it and send it to me in my personal WhatsApp number. Thank you dear children. Take care, stay safe and stay happy.